Hey guys, it's me, Mike. And today I want to talk seriously with you guys. You can tell I'm being more serious than Thanksgiving because I actually refer to myself as Mike instead of on page. In case you haven't noticed, the channel has officially reached half a million views. Now, normally for people like me that don't even have, like, good channels or they have mixed content, like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. 2,000 subscribers and half a million views is something you strive towards and dream and hope to reach someday. But now that I reached it, I should be excited, I should be happy, I should be celebrating. But I don't feel like I deserve the half a million views I got. Most, if not all, of my success started when I re-uploaded the Improbables old videos. I quickly gained subscribers, started gaining viewers, and I started using it to my advantage to start making my own content. While it got more people to watch, and a couple more people subscribe, and a couple more YouTubers that I actually talk to now, it just doesn't feel like I earned it. It's like I did a nice act because I'm a selfless kind of person but now that I have half a million views and 2600 subs I keep getting this weird sensation that there's people on this channel that only watch for the classic and probable stuff like you know who you are and if all you're here for is the classic and probable stuff you don't have to subscribe the classic of problems are re-uploading all their old stuff. So, without trying to sound mean, I personally wouldn't give a damn if you left. And I know that most of my subscribers are here just because I re-upload the classic stuff. Because, you gotta think, I have 2,600 subscribers, but only 80 views, 80 to 100 views on average on my videos. Even less when I do a video where I talk seriously, or talk at all. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, I just want to know who my fans are. Like, I have 2,600 subscribers. That means 2,600 of you have subscribed to this channel. This is 2,600 real people that I'm talking to, in theory. Because, like, I know most of you don't even give a crap about me, you just... Watch Classic and Probables. I want to know how many of you out there, like, actually watch me, watch my stuff, and actually care what I do. Just leave a sign, like, like a like would be nice, maybe a comment, personal message. Like, subscribing would be appreciated, but, like, if you do, I won't know what type of fan category you fall under, because... I like to think that I gained at least a significant portion of my 2,600 subscribers through my own effort. I just hope that I'm right. Because, like, if people are going to start telling me that I'm only popular on YouTube because I did one selfless act, then that pretty much just means that I'm a no-talent loser with no purpose in life, and I'm pathetic, and I'm stupid, and I'm wasting my time. And I never want to feel that way, because there's a lot of people out there that are feeling that way, and they have it way worse than I do. Unless there's people out there that actually care about what I do, my plan for the future would just be wait for the improbables to download all the episodes back, and then delete the channel. <sighs> I mean, I can tell that a few of you right now are, are just about to type, Oh God, please, no, we like you, we like your videos, please don't leave. And I appreciate your concern, but it's like, asking you guys your opinions about me is like giving all of you a bullhorn. The people that want to spam, troll, and generally don't give a about me are the ones that are most likely to use them so even if I told you even if I asked you guys honestly if you cared about me or my content 
the ones that genuinely do care, while I do appreciate them, would just get lost in this sea of lies, deception, and trolling, and spamming, and just straight up of derogatory and just straight up hate comments. Or there'd probably be no comments at all. I'm just talking to no one. It's like the most pathetic thing in the world to like make a video and next thing you know no one's watching it. <sighs> I just wanted to vent, you know, because everything's going weird now and I can only hope that that I can get things back on track again. Like, like, I want a new camera. I want to make more videos. I want to make this my job. I want to do this as long as I can, as often as I can, without having to worry about people putting me down because, like, I'm just your stereotypical high school dropout who thinks YouTubers can make money without any effort. I want to shed that stigma. I don't want to go back to high school though. It's it's too much for me right now. If I want to make it big on YouTube, I have to put effort into it. I have been, I am, and I will continue to do so. And above all else, I want to make it clear to everyone watching me and wanting to do their own YouTube channel they should fin you should finish school first. That way, if YouTube doesn't work out, you have something to fall back on. Something that you can actually do. Something that you enjoy doing. I know YouTube is something most people enjoy doing, but if at some point you don't want to do it or can't do it, you need something to do so that you have something to do to make money, pay bills. Thank you for watching, and I'm sorry for depressing all of you. Patreon video will be up shortly. Bye.